Regardless of your version of true happiness, living a happier, more satisfied life is within reach. A few tweaks to your regular habits can help you get there. Here's a look at some daily, monthly, and yearly habits to help kickstart your quest. Just remember that everyone's version of happiness is a little different, and so is their path to achieving it. First of all, smile. You tend to smile when you're happy. But it's actually a two-way street. We smile because we're happy, and smiling causes the brain to release dopamine, which makes us happier. While not completely foolproof, researchers have found that the link between smiling and happiness could be attributed to the facial feedback hypothesis, where facial expressions may have a modest influence on emotions. Our second advice for you is to exercise. Since it's not just for your body, but a regular exercise can help reduce stress, feelings of anxiety, and symptoms of depression while boosting self-esteem and happiness. Even a small amount of physical activity can make a difference. You don't have to train for a triathlon or scale a cliff, unless that's what makes you happy, of course. Then you should consider these exercise starters. Take a walk around the block every night after dinner. Sign up for a beginner's class in yoga or tai chi. Start your day with 5 minutes of stretching. Then our third advice for you will be to eat with mood in mind as you may already know that your food choices have an impact on your overall physical health. But some foods can also affect your state of mind. For example, carbohydrates release serotonin, a feel-good hormone. Just keep simple carbs to a minimum because that energy surge is short and you'll crash. Choosing complex carbs, such as vegetables, beans, and whole grains, can help you avoid a crash while still providing serotonin. On the other hand, lean meat, poultry, legumes, and dairy are high in protein. Protein-rich foods release dopamine and norepinephrine, which boost energy and concentration. Finally, if you want to eat with your mood in mind, consider starting with making one food choice for your mood each day. The fifth piece of advice in our list is to learn how to practice gratitude. Simply being grateful can give your mood a big boost, among other benefits. For example, a two-part study found that practicing gratitude can have a significant impact on feelings of hope and happiness. You might try starting each day by acknowledging one thing you're grateful for. You can do this while you're brushing your teeth or just waiting for that snoozed alarm to go off. As you go about your day, consider keeping an eye out for pleasant things in your life. They can be big things, such as knowing that someone loves you or getting a well-deserved promotion. Then, the sixth piece of advice in our list is to learn how to give a compliment. Since many researches show that performing acts of kindness may also help promote your overall well-being. Giving a sincere compliment is a quick, easy way to brighten someone's day while giving your own happiness a boost. Catch the person's eye and say it with a smile so they know you mean it. You might be surprised by how good it makes you feel. Last and not least, if you're tense, your shoulders are tight, and you feel as though you just might lose it. We all know that feeling. Instinct may tell you to take a long, deep breath to calm yourself down. Turns out, that instinct is a good one. Research Trusted Source supports the fact that slow breathing and deep breathing exercises can help reduce stress. The next time you feel stressed or are at your wit's end, work through these steps. 1. Close your eyes. Try to envision a happy memory or beautiful place. 2. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose. 3. Slowly breathe out through your mouth or nose. 4. Repeat this process several times until you start to feel yourself calm down. The following advice in our list is to learn how to acknowledge the unhappy moments. A positive attitude is generally a good thing, but bad things happen to everyone. It's just part of life. If you get some bad news, make a mistake, or just feel like you're in a funk, don't try to pretend you're happy. Acknowledge the feeling of unhappiness, letting yourself experience it for a moment. Then shift your focus toward what made you feel this way and what it might take to recover. 
Would a deep breathing exercise help? A long walk outside? Talking it over with someone? Let the moment pass and take care of yourself. Remember, no one's happy all the time.